The doctoral graduation ceremony for George Mason University has now begun. Please stand and welcome Christina Ortiz, a graduate vocal performance student from the College of Visual and Performing Arts for the singing of the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Thank you, Christina. That was fantastic. Give her another round of applause. I feel like I'm on a performance today. Anyway, so I want to welcome you all, graduates, uh, graduates' families, deans, faculty, and staff here with us. And those of us, those of you who are joining us virtually, uh, as we celebrate this most special day at George Mason University. And of course, I want to congratulate the graduates on achieving the highest degree in course. I am honored to welcome you in the company of scholars, and I'm so pleased we're able to come together today in person, doing this in person to mark this milestone in the beginning of many of you all's careers. You've earned a doctorate and you've earned it from one of the nation's leading research universities. Better yet, you've helped make this one of the nation's leading research universities. Give yourselves a round of applause. Our PhD candidates from the class of 2021 reflect the George Mason University faculty who inspired, instructed, and challenged you. You also represent the outstanding staff who supported you. We all take tremendous pride in your achievement and we are honored and humbled that you will carry on the noble pursuit of discovery and knowledge for decades to come. In addition to congratulating you, I also want to say thank you. You meant and continue to mean the world to George Mason University. While pursuing your PhD, you were also teachers and researchers and mentors who made a positive impact on Mason students and faculty and brought fresh perspectives to our scholarly work. And you did this at an unprecedented time in our history, when you had to adjust to rapid change amid working with students and faculty facing their own COVID-related challenges. Now, this is not only an achievement, it's an important lesson for the students who observed you, 
how you handled uh, this challenge. You've shown that academic passion is unstoppable. The burn to learn cannot be denied. So you not only help students discover or refine their own academic passions, you've shown them what it takes to finish the job. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your determination. Thank you for your commitment. And most of all, thank you for your gift. Earning your PhD, that doctor designation, announces to the world your ambition, your motivation, your passion, your determination, your expertise. It also announces that you've made just about the most fulfilling choice any human can make a conscious decision to never, ever, ever stop learning. To live a life of curiosity and questioning. Why? How? Can we? Should we? How can this new knowledge serve our planet? Already by earning this degree, you've created knowledge and information that future generations can build upon. May your thrill of discovery and your ability to view this challenge as an opportunity never, ever wane. It can't wane. Look, we need you. With this achievement comes responsibility, not only to your discipline, but to our fellow global citizens. We are saddling you with a long list of complex interconnected problems. I call them grand challenges. We need you to work across disciplines to solve these challenges for us to have a healthy planet, healthy people, healthy societies, and healthy economies. Is that asking a lot? Yeah, it is. But you and the students you will inspire and teach are the best hope we have to find solutions to these challenges. You are the best, prepared by the best. You are equipped to save us and oftentimes save us from ourselves. You've learned during your time here that research isn't always what you are pursuing, but what the world needs you to pursue. At times that doctor in front of your name might feel like it means disaster response. <laughs> We've seen that here at Mason over the last year and a half. Some of our most talented researchers from across different disciplines stepped away from their actual research to tackle ongoing important projects related to COVID-19 from all angles. You helped develop rapid results saliva-based test and a new method for analyzing antibodies. You helped create a health check system to help keep this campus safe and to keep other places safe as well. Many of you opened and worked to open vaccination clinics. You studied what role ventilation systems play in spreading the virus. You found better ways to create, to get COVID research funded into the hands of, get, get it funded and get in, into the hands of experts. Many of you helped develop and launch free webinars to help teachers and parents and caregivers from around the world improve online teaching and learning. You studied the impact on the virus on the elderly, a susceptible group, both physically and emotionally. And during all of this, you outlined the steps that countries should take now to avoid the next global pandemic. I could go on. The point is, Mason researchers answered the call. You continue to answer the call. And we need you to answer this call and calls in the future, whatever and whenever those calls may be. So that is your charge with your PhD. It boils down to two words, help us. Recognize and diagnose problems as swiftly as possible while anticipating new challenges. Be flexible in your work and continually ask, how can I have the greatest impact? Where is my knowledge most needed? How am I using my gifts to serve the community, my state, 
my country, my planet, as much hard work as you've put into learning and earning this degree, the hardest work for you is yet to come. I know you're prepared to confront any challenge we might face. And I look forward to the great things that you will all do as we move forward to do our part in making the world a much better place. Thank you. I would now like to introduce Pro the Provost of George Mason University, Dr. Mark Ginsburg. Thank you, President Washington. In the ceremony which is about to begin, all candidates have been approved by the faculty of the college for which they appear. All degrees are awarded contingent upon certification by the registrar that all degree requirements have satisfactorily been completed. President Washington, as our provost, I have the honor to present candidates for doctoral degrees, the highest degree in course. Will the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Arts and Doctor of Philosophy please rise and remain standing. I confer on you the doctoral degree for which you stand. I bestow upon you all the rights and privileges belonging to that degree, and I welcome you into the company of scholars. Congratulations. I now call on our new doctors to proceed to the stage as directed by our university marshals. As the candidates proceed to the stage, I'm pleased to extend my personal congratulations to our new doctors. Doctoral education is challenging, and engaging in doctoral level studies is both inspiring yet also rewarding. You have chosen the path that provides a rampway to great achievements and also to consequential impact, as the President just said. You've dived deeply into a field and a topic that you have chosen for your dissertation project. You've needed to work hard, to focus, to persevere, to remain patient, to remain optimistic, even during those moments of necessary frustration when you wondered if you ever would complete this course of study at the doctoral level. You know, it's been said that pursuing a doctoral degree is a daring adventure. Indeed it is. And through it all, you've accomplished what few are able to do. It's less than 2%, less than 2% of our nation's population hold the doctoral degree. You are prepared. You're prepared to pursue knowledge by asking questions and by researching answers, as the President just talked about, to the most vexing, the most complex, to the most important problems we face today and the most important problems we'll face tomorrow and many more tomorrows into the future. As you enter the community of scholars that attaining a doctoral degree infers, you are poised to have an impact, engage in the work of your field, and do things that are consequential for us all. I look forward to learning about your next daring adventure, and I'm confident that you will make a positive difference in your community, in our nation, in our world. I'm inspired by you, pleased for you, proud of you, and I celebrate each and every one of you this afternoon, all of us at George Mason University. Delight in, we applaud your achievement, we applaud your accomplishments. Congratulations. Thank you.
Mr. President, I present new doctors of arts whose field of study is musical arts. Yaren Choi. Kurt C. Christensen. <laughs> Mr. President, I present new Doctor of Philosophy whose field of study is biodefense. Young Jung Kim. <laughs> Mr. President, I present new doctors of philosophy whose field of study is bioengineering. Stephen Guan. Sayeda Fatima Salimi Ashkazari. <laughs> Mr. President, I present new doctors of philosophy whose field of study is bioinformatics and computational biology. Samantha Sevilla Chill. Lena Nazmi M. Nezamaldin. Krista Smith. Mr. President, I present new doctors of philosophy whose field of study is biosciences. Sarah Saad Al-Sharif. <laughs> Shravani Bobdi. Faisal Madkali. <laughs> Mr. President, I present new doctors of philosophy whose field of study is civil and infrastructure engineering. Asbina Rahman. As Nuva Ruff.
Tome Solomon. Mariam Zavare. Mr. President, I present new doctors of philosophy whose field of study is communication. Elmira Hamidi. Is that, that was Elmira. Elmira Hamidi. All right. Farah Latif. Mr. President, I present new doctors of philosophy whose field of study is computer science. Yifeng Gao. Priya Anna, Anna Mani. Matthew Bain Ravel. Mr. President, I present new doctor of philosophy whose field of study is conflict analysis and resolution, Joel Emmanuel Amegbo. Mr. President, I present new doctor of philosophy whose field of study is criminology, law, and society, Jordan Kenyon. <laughs> Mr. President, I present new doctors of philosophy whose field of study is economics, Brian J. Bonus. Christopher R. Fleming. Mr. President, I present new doctors of philosophy whose field of study is education. Anne Elizabeth Eichel. Maria Soledad Alva.
Stacy Brady. Holly Glaser. Letitia Guzman. Rachel Jane Hamburger. Vilma Liliana LaPelch. Angela Lowe. Anna Macedonia. Greer P. Mancuso. Maria J. Pallotta. Jessica Pope Mitro. Mr. President, I present new doctors of philosophy whose field of study is electrical and computer engineering. Abu Bakr Ahmed Abdul Ghadir. <laughs> Zen Yi Ye. Zen Yi? Are you there? No? All right. Mr. President, I present new doctors of philosophy whose field of study is environmental science and public policy. Kristen DeMarco. Sujata Pudel. Congratulations. 
Mr. President, I present you Doctors of Philosophy, whose field of study is history. David McKenzie. Jordan Patty. Spencer Roberts. Mr. President, I present new doctor of philosophy whose field of study is information technology. Satish K. Kali. <laughs> Mr. President, I present new doctor of philosophy whose field of study is nursing. Abdullah Salim Masuaba al Maroki. Mr. President, I present new Doctor of Philosophy whose field of study is physics, David Bauman. <laughs> Mr. President, I present new Doctors of Philosophy whose field of study is psychology. Martin Biscop. No, Martin Biscop. Stephanie Hargrove. <laughs> Diane Lamiera. Jennifer Loya. No? Are you Jennifer? Jennifer? Yes. Okay. This is Jennifer Loya. <laughs> Karen Pedamonti. Mr. President, I present new doctors of philosophy whose field of study is public policy. Simisola O. Faisum. <laughs> Charles N. W. Keckler. Do we have any more over there? <laughs> All right. I think we have reached the end. Okay, they're coming. Hang on. This is Charles N. W. Keckler. <laughs> Elsa T. Kwaja.
Han Zeng. Mr. President, I present new doctor of philosophy whose field of study is sociology, Emily McDonald. <laughs> Mr. President, I present new doctors of philosophy whose field of study is writing and rhetoric, Norma Cato. <laughs> Ashley Yuckenberg. Mr. President, I will. Pre Never mind. Martin Bisco. Martin Bisco. Martin Bisco. Ah, this is Martin Bisco. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we found him. <laughs> I've got some more here. Okay, so now we have the Doctor of Philosophy in Civil and Infrastructure Engineering, Tome Solomon. Mr. President, I present to you Doctor of Philosophy in Electrical and Computer Engineering, Zenyi Ye. And Mr. President, I believe this now completes the awarding of the highest degrees in course. Thank you. Congratulations again on this outstanding achievement. Please give them a round of applause. It is Mason's time, but it is indeed your time as well. Good luck, graduates. Please stand as we welcome back Christine Ortiz for the singing of our alma mater. George Mason, George Mason, we honor you today. Our alma mater is the source of patriot pride. From far and near on the world we come to learn side by side. We love our George Mason. We're proud of the green and gold. Those colors stay with us. Those colors grow with us. Those colors keep us patriots, true and bold. This concludes our ceremony. Please give our doctoral graduates one more round of applause.
Please remain in your seats while the platform party recesses.